Okay, I got my P3 plugged in to the computer and I'm going to copy a video that's on my computer into the P3. So I go to, this is the folder that the video is in, where the arrow, that's the video I'm trying to copy right here, where the arrow is at. And over here is the folder for the P3. I went to computer and then P3. Now I'm clicking on the P3 one. And I go down to video. And now I'm going to copy and drag this file over here. And drag it over to the P3. If it works, it won't say nothing. But if it, a message pops up, that means you have to convert it with other software. And that's the case with the case with this particular file. It tells you that the f um, file may be copied to the device for storage or transport use only. It is not supported for use on the device itself. And it says if possible use a media program that can convert the file before copying it. If you copy the file now it will be stored on the device but not may not be presented in the device user interface. You wish to copy the file to the device anyways and I want to say cancel. So I go down click cancel here. Okay I opened up the software program Emodio which comes with the Samsung P3. This program lets you um, copy files like music and videos and pictures to your Samsung P3. Now up here at the top, there's a one that says My PC, and there's one that says Playlist, and I think there's a few others up here. So I'm going to click on My PC, and there's some things here. You got like music. And there's one for video. Since it's a video, I click video. And there's one for pictures and for TTS and some other thing. But we want the video one, so I clicked on video. And now this is where the files listed are listed that you're trying to copy. So I need to go down here to the bottom here where it says um, add folder or add file. So I'm going to, I only want to copy one file, so I'll go to add file, click that on. Now it opens up um, my files. It's in the video directory, which is where the video is located at. So I just go down to the video that I want to copy, which is this one here, the last one on here. So I just click it on. Now it's adding the file to the list of files to copy here. Alright, it's on there. And then you can play it to make sure it's the right one by clicking it on, if I remember right. Alright, it's telling me the DRM client is not properly installed. I don't know why it's doing that. So I click on OK, and now it's playing. This is the video playing up here that I'm trying to copy where the arrow's at. You know. One of my videos that I made for YouTube. Alright, now if I want to transfer it to the Samsung P3, I just go over here where this arrow pointing to the right is and just click that on. It says, OK, converting, transferring video while playing. Media may slow down the computer. Do you want to stop the playback before converting, transferring? And I click on yes. Alright, now we got this box here that opens up. And it says general configuration or advanced settings. It's on advanced settings. And then screen size 480 to by 272. Quality 1500 kbps, whatever that means. I think that's the rate it transfers it. And frames, I think that's how many frames there are per minute. So it's on 30. So I don't think I have to mess with any of those. And it's asking where the target device is. And then it says the save in which folder. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hit run down here, click run down here. Alright, and now I believe it is, it appears that it's, um, see this thing down here where the arrow is, that's saying that it's working. Those arrows moving like that, that means that it's working right now. Okay, so it's going to probably take a little while. Okay, this thing down here, you click that on, and then this screen comes on and it shows you, this red bar shows you um, how much is completed. Right now it's about 50%. Now it's 51, 52, so it's going pretty fairly fast here. So this is how you tell if, how far it is along. And you can just go back to the other screen by clicking this on again. Okay, I got several windows open here. This one over here, where the arrow is right now, this is the Emodio program. After it um, converted the file to a format that can play on the P3, it automatically copied it. Um, to the P3's video folder, and here is the one for the, no, this one here is, this folder here, this is the one videos on my computer, this is the one that is, videos there on my P3 in this one, and it says it's an SVI file that it converted it to, and it's 41.1 megabytes, now since this file was like in HD quality, originally it was a lot bigger it was like 673 megabytes so to go from 673 megabytes to like 41 megabytes is a huge difference in size so the quality is going to be obviously a lot not near as good as what the original was but at least it will play on the P3 now alright I'm in Roxio Creator 2010 plus I'm going to try to copy the same file using creator instead of Emodio so you can go down here to um, copy and convert video on the video and movies tab so I click that one on and then it tells you you know about that you have to have the copyright to copy whatever you're going to copy and then there's a bunch of devices here listed, but the P3 is not listed. Because, it, you know, it's not, Samsung's P3 is not very popular, so it's not listed here. So, I'm going to use the other one here, drag and drop convert on the video and movies tab instead. And then you get this little thing here that opens up in the center of the screen. It says sync it at the top. It says drop media files here, so I have to bring up my video file again. Okay, I brought up the, com um, the video folder on my computer. Here's the same video. I'm going to try to convert it this time using Roxio's um, creator program. But before I drag it over there, I got a, this little folder thing here where the arrow's at. I have to choose the P3 under portable devices. So now it says P3. And then I go over here and drag the video I want to convert, which is going to be the same one, and put it into the thing. Drag it into that little circle thing. And then now, now it says file one of one. It says that there's less than 11 minutes left. Now it says less than 9 minutes, 7 minutes. And this little blue thing here, it's, once the whole thing turns this light blue color, this whole ring turns blue, that means it's done. That shows you how much percentage it's done. So it's just getting started here. So it's going to take a few minutes probably.
Okay, it's been a couple minutes later, and now it says that the conversion is finished, and once again it automatically put it into the Samsung P3's video folder. Here's the one that I copied before using Emodio. It was 41 megabytes, and it was an SVI file, while Roxio Creator 2010's program, copy and convert program, it converted it to Windows Media um, file, audio video file, Windows Media audio video file, and it's only 8.48 .8 megabytes, so it's even smaller yet. And this thing, remember, was originally like f over 400 megabytes, so it really shrunk it down. Okay, I unplugged the Samsung P3 from the computer, and now I'm going to try to see if the wife or the video that I copied will work. The first one I'm going to try is the SVI one. That was the one I copied using Emodio. And now it's playing. Looks like it's playing okay. Now I'm going to go back and try the one that I that it copied using Roxio Creator 2010 Plus. So it looks like that one's working too. Look like they're both about the same video quality. This one might it looks like this one's a little harder to read. But yeah, they're both pretty good. So you can use either program to copy. Okay, when I was copying and converting that file using Syncit here on Roxio Creator 2010 Plus, it was set um, on the WMV format. You can change the format by going to this one here. It's under the minimize thing here. There's the X to close it, and then there's the little thing to minimize it, and then there's this one here right underneath of it. Go there, and then a window comes open, pops open. And then there's a video tab here. And then here is where you change it. You just click this, and then they give you different formats. I had it on WMV, PC, or Portable Players. I've done this before with a different type format and it won't work. So you have to have the right format. And that's why it was so much smaller because that format apparently takes less space. But like I said, it made the video, the text in the video, a lot harder to read. Well, not a whole lot harder, but it was a little harder to make out the letters. So there you have it.